Hello, my name is Byron Jam. I'm a physical therapist in Toronto, and I want to show you three outcome measures for shoulder range of motion. That's so much easier than using a goniometer. I use these three outcome measures on every single patient with adhesive capsulitis, for example, when I want to monitor even small progress. First outcome measure, I call it active reach-up test. You ask the patient to hold the measuring tape, regular measuring tape, on their belly button, and I let them find their own belly button. Hold it in their hand, and lift up as high as they can go. Then when they bring it down, I measure and I look, 101 centimeters, and we simply compare it to the other side. And then they go like this. And then we measure and it's 82 centimeters. I find it's accurate to the nearest two centimeters. Second outcome measure is to measure hand behind back. So the hand behind back is measured simply with the finger, thumb, to the spider's process of T1 to 7. So you ask them to reach as high as you can go, high as you can go. Then we measure distance from the thumb up to C7, and that's 21 centimeters when we compare it to the other side. You can start from either end, C7 here, and this one is 31 centimeters. So instantly you know if the patient has improved or not. And the third outcome measure is called the wall reach-up test. The wall reach-up test simply involves having a tape on the wall when the, and the patient stands with their feet touching the wall and you reach up as high as you can. So you go with one hand and this one goes 218 centimeters and then you come back and the other one goes 189 centimeters. So instantly you know that there's an asymmetry and I find this accurate to the nearest centimeters. And patients just absolutely love knowing if they've improved or not. So I hope you enjoyed learning about these three simple outcome measures that your patients will find motivating.